Hey souls, Divine Soul here. You're welcome to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by, please do want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. So I have a message here for the collectives, okay? But please take only what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. I'm hearing 7%, so this message will certainly resonate with 7% of you. But let me tell you this. If you are living in your truth, if you are doing what makes you happy on a soul level, if you know that what you're doing is what makes you happy on the inside, if you know that what you're doing gives you soul fulfillment, I'm telling you, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep living in your truth. This message came like, this is the third time I'm receiving this message and I just know I need to put this message out. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay, as chosen ones, keep doing what you're doing. As rebels, keep doing what you're doing. There are people that will never accept you because you are standing in your truth. And it's taking me back to the story of Jesus. Jesus is a very clear example. I'm telling you, like, uh, when Jesus started living in his truth, saying, oh, I'm the son of the Most High, or I'm this, I'm that. These Pontius Pilate, these people, these scribes, these Pharisees, they were like, oh, uh, what do you think you are? You cannot, this, that's blasphemy, that's this, that's that. Because Jesus knew who he was. He stood in that, he was so firm in that, like he knew who he was. Like there was nothing anybody could tell him. And now many of you, you are like that. You, you are... You are living in your authentic self. You are being truthful to yourself. You know who you are. You know what you're here to do. You know who the F you are. And there are people that they don't know who you are and they are threatened because you've awakened to who you are. But let me tell you, that is not your problem. Your job is not to carry uh, on people's baggages. All right. So if you're living in your truth, your authentic self, whatever you do, there are people, family members, co-workers, ex-lovers, uh, friends that would not like what you do. They would, or even strangers, okay, they will stand against what you do because you are living in your truth and they are still stuck in their lies. Do not let people um, bridge you or do not let people coerce you to living in their lies, making their lies your truth. Because if you allow yourself to live in a perception if you allow yourself to live in other people's lies you will die in your own truth because you're living other people's lies it's quite unfortunate that many people will leave this earth with a false image many people will leave this earth with um, an unknown identity reason because they are so engrossed, they are so deep into trying to please society, trying to please people, trying to, to please the world, and they've displeased themselves. And if you know that you are not here to please people, you're here to please yourself and also make do things that is in alignment with who God has called you to be, you are on the right path. As long as you are in that path that God wants you to be, you are on the right path. Okay, anyways, so today's message is you have something that people want. You have something that people desire. You have something that people are craving for. And let me tell you this, there are people that depend on the carnal things, okay? People can say, oh, I am protected, I have a gun, I can kill anybody. Or I'm protected, I have a machete, I can kill anybody. Or I have this or that. What you do not know is um, there are people also that because of your authenticity, right, they feel that you are doing, maybe you're into black magic, you're doing occultism, you know, the names like that. Um, they call it new age. Okay. Very funny individuals. Anyways, so they call, they, they, they have a name that they attach to it. Many of you, you've been called witch, you've been called wizard, you've been called many names. This is because these people that called you those names, um, what they, they are threatened because the things that you know, they don't even know half of it. So instead of them to calm down humble themselves to learn what they're trying to do is they want to uh, they're trying to make you feel like you don't know what you're doing so these people most of them they went as far as doing like black magic to see what your power is these people they went as far as going to um doing dark things okay doing rituals doing spells to see your power to see why you're so powerful that's what these people are doing behind the scenes but the thing is, they are so blind. That's what I'm saying. Like when you are so trapped in your ego, when you are, when you allow this ego, this mind, this 
devil, this demon, this Satan that they call, if you allow it to trap your mind, you will be a slave to it. And these people that are coming against you, these are people that have been trapped by the ego, the mindset, the, the devil, the, the demon, okay? And what they are doing is behind the scenes, they are trying to see how is this person getting so much power? Why is this person so powerful? Why is this person, why does this person have so much power? I've been trying to kill this person. I've been trying to hurt this person. I've been trying to destroy this person. This person is not coming down. Why is this person so powerful? But what they do not know is greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. What you have is not on the outside. What you have is on the inside. What you possess is on the inside. And it is not man giving, it is God giving. You see, that's the difference between you and these low vibrational entities. That is the difference between you and these karmics, these low entities. You see, you are over here living in love, in truth, and in authenticity, but they are still trapped living in hate, living in lies, and living in fake. So that's why they cannot match up with your energy because your energy is divine. This earth is created in love. Light is love. Let there be light. Let there be love. That's what, is, that's what this world is all about. And there are people that they still operate in hate. There are people that still operate in anger. There are people that still operate in jealousy. There are people that still operate in envy. And they are so blind to see that the reason why they've not received their own blessings, the reason why they don't see themselves as powerful is because they are refusing to live in their truth. So you, chosen ones, you, whoever this message was made with, your ancestors, okay, They've given you the sword. You're holding two swords. So I don't know if you see this or you don't, but you have two swords with you right now. My chosen ones, to those of you that you are doing the work, you've done the work, you've made God proud. You're living in your authenticity. You don't care what people think about you. You don't care what people say about you. If that's what you're on, you have received two swords right now. You have two swords. And this sword is not on the outside. It's on the inside. You have been given... The sword of truth, you have been given the sword of love. And that is what these people don't have. And that's why they are threatened by your light. That's why they are threatened by your power. That's why they are, they are threatened by you. Okay? There are people that will be triggered by, by your, your truth and your love because they lack that within themselves. So you are being asked to be in your authentic self. Your love and your truth is your power. And that is what they cannot take away from you. When you embody love, when you embody truth, people cannot bring you down. They can never bring you down because that is your authenticity. That is who you are. You're not out here trying to um, project on anyone. You're not out here trying to do any black magic spells on anybody. You're not out here trying to see who can... Well, you can bring down to bring yourself up. No, the only thing that you're doing that is making these people mad, these karmics, these low vibrational energies mad is because you are living in your authentic self. So these people, they are thinking that, oh, you know, this person could be doing voodoo magic. No, you are being your authentic self and that's what they lack within themselves. You see, there are many people that are putting on veils, covering themselves, okay, um, trying to look righteous and holy on the outside, but within themselves, they are vile. They are liars, they are manipulators, they are deceitful, they are fake. And because you are the real one, because they see that you are real, they are threatened by you. Okay? You are not out here trying to convert. You're just being yourself. And these people are trying to convert. They're trying to take what belongs to you. They're trying to take your position, your crown. But that's not what you're on. You are just simply living in love. You're simply living in your authentic self. You're simply living in your truth. And these people just want to see how they can take from you. But no, you cannot take something that's already within a person. You cannot take away something that is already built on a solid rock. You cannot... And this is something that you build from the scratch, whoever I'm speaking to. This life that you have, this love that you possess, this authentic self, this um, truth that you, you, you possess, that is your authenticity. And these people want to take that away from you 
but they cannot because that is something that you worked on that is your work that is something that you built from the scratch and for them to take that from you it will take the whole village for them to remove that from you so your ancestors are asking you to stay true to yourself keep being yourself no matter what stay rooted in love stay rooted in truth they want you to know that look this time the weapon that you have that you've been that you've been rewarded with in this season is your love your truth and that is your authenticity the scripture greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world which means the world lacks love the world lacks truth the world lacks authenticity but you have that within yourself and that is what makes you great because these low vibrational energies they lack that within themselves so these low vibrational en entities they feel triggered when you stay true to yourself but your spirit teams they are asking you to they are encouraging you to believe in what you know the truth about yourself and the love that you embody these low vibrational energies they see how spiritually enriched you are. They see how spiritually nourished you are. They see how, how you, are, you are so blessed within. They see how you, um, you have something that they don't have. Okay? Tell them the truth. Send them love and keep it moving. And look, let me tell you this. We are in the season where you are not meant to keep your mouth shut. You are in the season where you're meant to speak your truth. Even though it kills people on the inside, even though it irritates people's demon, do not keep your mouth shut, chosen ones. Speak your truth. Um, look, I told you, I said, this is a season of revelation. Things will be revealed. There are people that cannot hide anymore. They've been trying to cover themselves up, wearing a veil. They've been trying to live in pretense. Okay, now it's like they cannot take it anymore. So people will come towards you to project on you. You will have people that will tell you so many hurtful things to your face. That is because they are threatened by your light. I am telling you this. They are dying on the inside. So they are looking for who to lead on. These are people that you don't even know. These are people that you've never met before. You have people that, that you've never met before. They are speaking against you. Okay, because of your authenticity, because you are in your power, all you're doing is being in love, living in your truth. But these people, they have so much to say. Some of them are past energies, people that you took your power away from. Okay, the people that you disconnected yourself from. Rumors are flying, like they are saying so much about you. They are speaking against you. Oh, this person thinks they're all that. Oh, that person thinks they are th that they're all that. Oh, this person thinks that he has this or that he has that. No, they are triggered. Like, they cannot. I'm hearing the word conjured, okay? It's like you conjure people's demon. You wake people's demon because of your love, because of your authenticity, because of your truth. So your ancestors are saying, keep speaking your truth. Keep living in love. Keep being your authentic self. Don't don't lower yourself for these low vibrational energies. Don't let them bring you to your, their level. They're trying to bring you down to their level because they see how much you've grown, how much you've elevated spiritually, mentally, physically, and otherwise. They see it. They know. And now they're thinking behind the scenes like, how 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 do we how do we bring this person down? Uh, let me tell you also what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that these people that you dealt with in the past, they are now they've now conjured. They've come together with. Let's say you used to be close to certain people, right? And then you stop being close to them. These people that you were close to, they they are now close to your enemies, to your other enemies, to your other enemies, and now they formed alliances against you. So they are speaking against you, like, oh yeah, you know that person thinks they're all that. Oh, you know this person thinks this is what is happening. I am telling you what is happening behind the scene in the spirit realm. I'm telling you what is happening in the spirit realm behind the scene. This is what these people are doing. Oh, this person thinks they're all that. Or because because you you stop connecting with them because you you took your power away because you, you you said you know what i don't want to be with this person anymore i don't want to be friends with this person i don't want to walk here i don't want to these people are now triggered like oh who do they think they are or oh, they, they think they're better than me now so they are they've now formed alliances okay against you because they cannot stand you okay but the message here is pay them no mind keep doing what you're doing you have people stuck in their head about you. I'm telling you, like, people are in their head about you. 
you have behind the scenes haters. These people are toxic and they hate your energy. It is your energy. It is who you are on the inside. Your godly energy. Your energy is luxurious. So you cannot give it away to just anybody. You are who your haters wish to be. And that's on period. These are strangers and people close to you, okay? Your authenticity threatens haters. You're over here growing and glowing. And people can't stand it. These people hate you because you've done the work and they are unable to. These people, they refuse to take accountability for their actions. These people, look, what they're doing is they are now spreading rumors about you because um, they are mad that you locked them out. Ooh! They are mad that you locked them out. You took your power away from them and they do not have access to you anymore. Reason why they are mad. Okay, you denied somebody access to you. You denied people access to you. So they are spreading rumors about you to make themselves feel better. They keep living in their lies while you keep living and you keep thriving in your truth. Your haters, okay, these people that hate you behind the scenes, they are burdened and you are flourishing. And that's what it is. When you keep hating on people, you, when you keep hating on somebody, you are doing yourself more harm than good. So they are over there hating on you, but you're over here, you're, you're thriving and you're flourishing. God it keeps filling your cup up. You have the grace of God upon your life and they are carrying so much burdens on, on their life. That's the difference between you and these people. Okay? You are winning and they are losing and now they're mad. That's why they're mad. Some of you, these are friends, exes, okay? Ex-lovers, co-workers. That, these are comics that you dealt with in the past. These people... What I heard, I heard that these people, they've been trained to hate you. You see how God trained you to, to give love, to send love to people? These people, the enemy, the, the demons, they've trained them. It's like their, their, their ego, the devil is telling them, keep hating on them, keep hating on this person, keep hating on this person. And that's what they're doing. They've been trained to hate on you. But you've been trained to live in truth, to live in love, and to live in authenticity. That is the difference between you and these low vibrational entities. Okay? They speak against you. But guess what? They will always remain behind the scene, hating, until they choose to, to work on themselves. For some, for, for some of you, these people that you dealt with in the past, these people are missing out on their blessings because they are sending you hate. You want me to fail? But you're not even progressing either. All you're doing day and night is waiting for my collectives and I to come down. But no, God keeps uplifting I and my collect collectives. As long as God is with me, God is with my collectives, no harm can come to us. And that's what it is. Anybody trying to pull you down already pulled themselves down. So they, they, they are missing out on their blessings because they are sending you hate. And God keeps blessing you. You work so hard to be where you are today. You did the work. Inside out, you did the work. You told yourself, I want to break generational causes. And you did. You told yourself, I want to become a better person. And you did. You told yourself, I want to live a good life. And you did. Now that you're here, these people, they are hating on you. And they want your blessings? No, honey. They will not receive the same blessings because they don't want you to experience blessings. So they will not experience blessings. This is back to sender. It is return to sender. And that's what it is. Reason why I always tell people, look, keep focusing on yourself. I don't focus on people that hate me. To be honest, and that's the truth. I do not focus on the hate that I receive from people. I focus on God. The reason why I'm being led to put this message out is so that you know what is happening behind the scenes. So that you know what is happening spiritually as well. This is what is happening spiritually. You have lots of haters that are stuck in dungeon. They are stuck in the past because they cannot watch you grow. So now they don't, they don't even have access to you anymore. So you are being asked to stay committed to your truth. Stay committed to love. Stay committed to your authenticity. Because God is proud of you. Your spirit team is proud of you. Your ancestors, they are proud of you. I I am so proud of you. Okay? So if God is proud of you, your spirit team is proud of you, your ancestors are proud of you, why should you be bothered about these haters though? Why though? Don't give them any attention. Don't. I am saying this because you don't even need, you don't need to put your energy into that. Don't feed them your energy. Many of them need you to feed 
they want to feed off your energy don't give them that time okay these people they feel defeated because they do not have the free pass to you anymore these are these were people that they had easy access to you these were friends families co-workers ex-lovers that they had very very you know easy access to you they could come around you you know you you could share anything with them they they, they, they would take what you what you give to them and use it or they you know these are people that you were very close to in the past but because you shut them out they are now like cry babies they are crying they want to come back into your life but they don't have access to you anymore they feel defeated because they do not have that free pass to you anymore so the divine is saying pay them no mind Pay them no mind. Keep shining your light. You are these people's addictions. Like they are addicted to you. Many of them are stalking you on your social media platform. They are. They, some of them have your pictures. They are addicted to you. Your energy is like they had access to your energy in the past, and now that you took your, you took your energy back, they are now frustrated. They are now they are defenseless. They are now weak. And now they're saying, how can I come back into this person? But no, they've been denied access to you spiritually. Spiritually, they've been denied access to you. Many of you, you're now in your happy seasons. You're living your the best life. You're making like, you're, you're so happy right now. And you have so many exes trying to come back. And um, for the past few days, I've been watching certain kind of movies. And the movies, it's, it's like in, it's in sync where somebody moved on and then the ex is trying to come back into their life you know and all of those stuff so that's what i'm getting like you are now in your happy seasons and you have people that you cut off friends family members okay mom figures that were not close to you fathers or all of that all of those stuff they're trying to see how they can come back into your life divine is saying these people they are addicted to your energy you are being asked to stop worrying about these eaters, okay? They are trying to take a risk to come towards you, but keep it moving. They miss you, but they are trapped in the past. Your ancestors will not allow anyone that has not done the work have access to you anymore. Times has changed. These people are now stalking you, tripped, okay? You are not the same person that you were yesterday, a year ago, six months ago. You've changed, okay? You are now in a different space. And that's why these people, they feel bad. And that's why the only thing they can resort to is spreading rumors against you. That's the only thing they can do. Your love, your truth, your authenticity will always irritate the demons in people. Keep doing your work. Keep shining your light. Keep living in truth. Keep living in love. Keep being your authentic self. Okay? If God be for you, who can be against you? I'll leave this message here. And I hope that this message gives you peace and clarity. Till next time, divine blessings.